Okay, so uh, this is the tutorial number two in the tagging and clipping tool. Uh, today we're going to look at clipping and how to make uh, clips from the, uh, the video files that are created. Uh, again, you must have an account. Uh, that would be your username and password to log in. And once you do so, you'll land on the page where uh, the tagging initiative starts. Uh, the navigation for the system is in the top right. You can move to tag, clip, or the viewer, which we'll describe in a later tutorial, uh, at any time. So for this purpose, we're going to go into clipping. In order to find a file that you want to work with, you use the calendar. You can seek by date. We're going to go back into December. And in particular, we're using the date of the 6th. Now, you can filter the returns by conference, division, or by team, or if you just click the Find button, every event that took place on December 6th within your league will show up in the search results. But I'm going to filter it by, uh, by just one team to give you a sense of how that works. Narrows it down a little bit. Now, we're using this particular file, uh, again, in the uh, tagging example we use the same file and there's a reason I want to do that and I'll show you that here in just a moment so first of all let's select it and load it up okay and there's the file that begins to play in its entirety and we can see here from our timeline that this file is just over three hours in length I'm gonna pause it for a moment now you'll notice that we uh, even though we're in clipping the clip editor not tagging we're in clip editor the tags still show up in a screen uh, this is to make a, a bit of a shortcut for you so for example if there was a play and we're presuming that uh, games are tagged by penalties by goals maybe by uh, by breakaways or penalty shots something like that so typically those tagged plays might also be something that you want to create a clip from and you can simply just select one of those. That'll begin playing. That's our breakout play. You can see that it's, uh, it's playing in our screen. Now there is a key difference between how we tagged and how we make a clip. And the simple explanation for that one is that in tagging, when we hit the mark, it set a point from the specific event. So as an example, uh, if a goal was scored and you were watching that in the video and you wanted to tag that goal, as soon as the puck crosses uh, into the net, you could hit mark. Now, actually that's the end of the event if you think about it. And what we do in tagging is we then go backward. The difference in clipping is that we are taking a specific point and we are moving forward from there. So um, in this case, I, if I were to hit a mark, I'm just going to scrub to a, a, just a general area of the file. All right, so we're ex exactly 49 minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to uh, mark that point. The video begins to play from that point forward. And as we've seen in the past, from 49 minutes, we can then have a duration of 10 to 120 seconds, so 10 seconds to 2 minutes in the clip that we're trying to create. So let's make a 20 second clip. We've marked it from 49 minutes, so it'll be it'll run from 49 minutes to 49 minutes 20 seconds. And we'll call this clip sample 1. All right, so we've got that. We've now saved it. If we'd like to review it, we can just simply click on it and it will play 20 seconds worth of video and as we've seen in the previous tagging uh, example it'll stop after 20 seconds so you're looking at 20 seconds of play that should be coming up to 20 seconds pretty close there we go right now so the, the video player does stop on its own that's not me stopping it now here's a, a cool thing you can do if you want to create your own highlight pack 
or you'd like to perhaps send this clip to another coach, maybe a player, you can download just the clip that we've created. It has to be highlighted, so in this case we have the clip sample one highlighted. I'm going to download that and by clicking the download button our process starts uh, in the same way that, that most things do. The video will, uh, it, we're using a browser so the clip will download into your browser's download folder. Now what you have in that case, if you can see in the bottom left hand corner, we've got a three megabyte file and it's now completed so it's just finishing its, uh, its download. So that's, uh, that's a clip. You now have that on your laptop or desktop computer and you can do with it whatever you see fit. If we wanted to download the entire game, this is a good, uh, a good place to do that within the clip editor. You'll notice that uh, in both clipping and tagging we have this download game button. But I would recommend that you uh, do all downloading within the same editing window, in this case clip editor. But if we wanted the entire game file, and for example if you've got your own coaching software and you want to simply just import the game file once it's archived and then put it into your own software, this downloads an MP4 file. And I'll just click that to show you how that uh, process begins. And you'll notice again in the bottom left hand corner, whereas our clip was only 3 meg, uh, this is 1.5 gig. I'm going to cancel that. I'm not going to download the whole file. But um, that file, that three hour file, is 1.5 gigabytes in size. So that uh, that's makes it really simple if you want to download a video. Let's make one more clip just to uh, go over that again. So uh, let's move forward. I think there was a. I will just start from there. All right, so let's mark our video. That's our endpoint. Let's watch the action. Ah, ended up being a good save. So that's about uh, 10 seconds worth. Let's make that a 10 second clip and we'll call this nice save. All right, there we go. And again, we'll save it. Let's review it. This was the play we were looking at. This will only be 10 seconds in length. Perfect. Nice 10 second clip. Again, download it if you'd like. It, uh, it can sit there. Now, if you uh, make a clip and you don't want that clip to be around anymore, uh, or perhaps you think you've maybe made an effort, simply highlight that clip. I prefer to pause the video. It just makes things work a little smoother, and it gives you uh, just a moment to make sure that you, in fact, are set up to delete a file that you're expecting. So clip sample one, we're going to delete that. We don't need that. And that, as you can see, removes from our clip library. All of the clips that you make will stay associated to this particular game file. So if you wanted to come back historically, if you wanted to look maybe last year's uh, season or several months ago, you can always go back after uh, the game has been tagged and clips have been made. You can add more clips at any time and of course you can delete them at any time as well. So that's how we use the clipping tool. Uh, fairly straightforward. Practice with it. Get used to uh, the, the various commands and I uh, hope you take full advantage of it and it works well for you.